take the spatula again and take it off the edge. Make sure everything's blended up well together. And then I have some water. Helps the dough to blend well together, and since everything is kind of not very moist, we need some water to almost like, yeah, I mean, when you make a regular pizza crust, right, we need to add water, oil, salt and pepper and all that. So the, the water just helps us to control the consistency we want in the end. And this is very important to, to look if you really need that much water, because in the end, you need to take the water out again in the dehydrator. So you may only add as much water as you need to, so that you can just make sure the food processor blends it well together. Because if you add so much water that it's runny, you will have a problem with the dehydrator. It either takes you too long and it gets like very flaky and it doesn't really give you a nice texture of the pizza crust or the flex cracker you're making. Because you can make anything in the, food, food uh, in the dehydrator, but I will talk about that later. So we kind of control it again, see how it looks like. And I think this is a nice consistency. It's like very moussey, not mousse au chocolat, but <laughs> very, very... Can feel it. it has a lot of air and it's, it's very nice and I'd say this is how we're gonna keep it and I add about yeah half a cup not more today so if you feel your food processor is not working properly just add some more but I wouldn't exceed a three-quarter cup of water okay so before I go next to the next process I would like to introduce you to my dehydrators this is um, a small one this is a big one, obviously, and they differ very slightly. The small one is a timer, and it goes until, from 2 hours to 26 hours. And this is a very good indication. 2 hours is a good time when you want to put the uh, pizza crust in the dehydrator. You start with, uh, two, for 2 hours with a very high temperature, because it is said that no food should be dehydrated over 115 Fahrenheit degrees. So if you want to start the dehydration, you actually go higher. And that's uh, we, here we come back to the water content of the item you're putting in the, into the dehydrator. The more water is in the food you're putting in the dehydrator, the more hours you can start with a higher temperature because it takes time for the, the heat to really uh, get into the food. So you've got to grant some time to the dehydrator to to make it to get inside and so the thicker the more water content the, the, the item is you put in the dehydrator the, 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 the higher you can set the temperature so let's say uh, we have our food uh, our pizza crust right now so I will show you how thick it's gonna be so that you get, can get an idea and this is our trays this is uh, it consists of three items and then I take the spatula again and take it off the edge. Make sure everything's blended up well together. And then I have some water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The flat seeds, flex, brown flat seeds, the pizza crust. So when you do that, it's best to have an even place. So I have a cutting board up here, but it's just big enough, so I can use that. But I can also just place it on a, on a, on a table, anywhere you have space. And so we take the... And it's, it's recommendable to start right away with the dough, but if you don't have time, you can do it later. The reason is the, the flaxseed is very high in fiber, so it takes a lot of moisture from the dough, which makes it very hard. I mean, there's, it's just recommendable to, to do it once you have at the flaxseed. But if you don't have time, maybe you want to prepare the dough and you want to do it tomorrow, next day, or 
maybe make a little portion now and uh, finish tomorrow. So you can do that. It's no problem. It's just easier to do it uh, right away. You see, it's like very, very easy to spread. So I can do it either with a spatula or I take um, something like that. It's called a spatula too, isn't it? Yeah. So you can take any spatula you're familiar with because. Like every chef, every person is different. So we may like it, like to control every little piece, or we like to spread all over. I mean, for me as a chef, I like to work efficiently. So I like to go like very spread, very widely. Yeah, and so try to make it very uh, even and hold the edges so that it doesn't slide. Just so you can form any shapes. I do the whole, I use the whole tray. It's just, um, just the recipe is just enough for one full sheet. So I just take a batch of that and just enjoy it and just spread it all over. So you turn it sometimes, make it easier for you so that you don't have to bend. You can shape little mini pizzas, you can shape um, two individual pizzas, put them on two different trays. You can make little snacks out of them by shaping them, like already cutting them into squares. You can maybe make savory cookies and shape them into your favorite shape. So it's, there's a lot of room for creativity and it's one very, very nice thing about the raw food cuisine that you, have, you can use your own creativity, you can actually change the whole recipe I just provided. You can add maybe some chili, some coriander, you can add anything, you can make it Asian style, maybe add some Asian uh, herbs instead of Italian herbs, you make your Asian cracker or pizza crust. So it's all up to you. I'm just here to motivate you and to inspire you about what you can do to just at least try how, how beautiful the wrong cuisine is. So this is our pizza crust, not ready yet. And preferably you put it in the middle. And why in the middle? Yeah, okay. So the middle is the, the warmest place in the dehydrator. So it is set on top and on the bottom. It's kind of okay. And the middle is warm and it also has a very good circulation of the, the, the air. So because of the fan. So if we go into the details of the dehydrator, it has a fan in the back which blows the air which goes the hot air, which is either 135 right now or later I will turn it down to 115, which is very important that you don't exceed 115 after one hour or depending how big the batter is. So if you have very thin stuff, just leave it right on 115 Fahrenheit. And then, uh, because if you do exceed that temperature, 115, for a very, very long time, the nutritional value of the food you just put in will decrease. So that means enzymes will pretty much die 